guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm filming my ta tack box, what's in my tack box 2017. As you can see, I have a beautiful unicorn box here. This is not used for tack box, but I decided to use it for my tack box. So of one was actually like falling apart because a, a horse decided to stand on it, which was completely our fault, it's not his fault. And yeah, I love this box. It's beautiful. I got it at Home and Bargains for three ninety nine. It's a bit pricey, but it is. It's not that big, but it's very sturdy and it's beautiful. Oof. So when you open it, this is what you see. It's a little bit messy, and I'm going to have parts of this video because I can't film much on my tablet. I will film them in parts. For this part, I will just go as much as I can do. And if it cuts out randomly, and apparently that's the end of part one, I'm sorry. So here is my mane and tail brush. A lot of people have this one. It's just a dark blue and a light blue. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Got a bit of hairs in there. This is my dandy brush. This is what you use to just brush off the loose mud and dirt and hair that gets on your horse's body after you use the curry comb. I'll explain what that is later. And this one, I'm not sure what brand it is, but if you know, there you are. That didn't make sense. Here we have one of my body brushes, which I don't use. The brand has rubbed off. It does have a little shiny bit somewhere can't find it but yeah this is just an ordinary ordinary body brush and this is to smooth down your horse's fur just make them look a bit more neater so this is once you're finished your grooming and then you just you don't have to but it's recommended just brush them down make some look a lot nicer this is my other body brush i prefer this one because it has a strap and you can put your hand in like this and put your thumb out of the side if you're wondering what the thing is on my hand it's my birthmark here oh let's use this one here i have my curry comb i prefer curry rubber curry combs they are much nicer i think and a lot of people have see-through rubber curry combs and they're kind of sparkly and they look amazing we just have a black one the reason why i prefer rubber ones they I don't like metal ones because they're made out of metal and you use this to brush your horse. And with curry combs, you are meant to go in circles on your horse. Don't go down, it's circles. And don't brush the bony parts of them, brush the fleshy, chunky bits. So anywhere that feels hard, you can brush that area, just be lighter with the curry comb. So this will be the end of part one, so I will actually be able to upload it with saying goodbye so bye bye this is the end of part one i will see you later